Okay, so I went back into my program and I tried to make everything a little bit more discreet. Um, I'm using a step system in, in this case, uh, where the frame rate is a multiple of the output frame rate. And for every simulation frame, there's X number of steps. In this case, I've done three times the frame rate of the output for the simulation frame rate. And then there's a hundred possible steps per uh, simulation frame. And as you can see, the issue with the uh, discontinuities has gone away. Everything is nice and consistent and clear like it should be. I'm, I'm very happy about that, I'll tell you what. But I also wanted to have something to compare this against, so I deliberately went back um, using the same random number seed I went back and I, I did, uh, instead of 30 frames per second times three, I did 25 frames per second times three, I think. Yeah, yeah, so 75 there. Uh, so yeah, this is, you can see that on the graph there, the, uh, the, the fifth graph, the number of uh, frames that were being generated per output frame, uh, it was all over the place. And you can see that there's these jumps. <laughs> there's, there's, there's many jumps. Uh, from frame to frame. There's gaps forming every other frame or something like that. It's not supposed to do that. This is an example of where the discontinuities are just, it's, it's horrid. Anyway, so um, to help visualize this, visualize this a little better, I've also, uh, I've also, I've compared the output of these animations Let's go ahead and take a look at that first animation, the one that had the uh, three times the output frame rate. This is still fairly smooth. Compare that to the one where I did, I think it was uh, 25 times three. <laughs> and you can see it's a little jittery. It's not nearly as smooth. I mean, it is smooth-ish, but it's not great. Here they are side by side. I don't know how well this is going to turn out uh, when I render everything out, but <laughs> here it is slowed down if this helps. Okay, I took it a step further uh, to make a point of this, like why I'm doing this in the first place. Um, I've then done 15 times the output frame rate uh, for the simulation frame rate. I, I kept the uh, the steps, the number of steps per simulation frame at 100. And um, you can see that in the output there, it's way, way, way smoother looking. It's very nice. Um, it's not perfect. And it, it gets better with more, uh, the, the greater multiple of simulation frames compared to the output frame. But... Anyway, uh, here here it is. Here's the animation being played one frame at a time uh, through my program again. So we can you can see that the uh, I mean you can just see you can see the paths of the particles very very clearly even when they're bouncing off of things. It's really nice when they hit a, a corner especially because you you can see where it hits uh, two uh, two of the walls usually within a single frame. So again, I'm just going to show you the um, I'm going to show you the output of the first sim the first simulation we did, the one with the three times the output frame rate. Compare that against what we just did, which is 15 times the output frame rate, and it's just it's so much nicer. Ah, it looks so good. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. The thing about it, though. The thing about it though, oh yeah, let's go ahead and compare these side by side again. Um, the thing about it though is that even though the setup for these is the same, um, the the final output at the very end is a little different. I actually took a, a screenshot of this part here to compare. And you can see that some of the the some of the outputs from the two were similar, but some of the things there's clearly things have moved a little bit for some of these particles for the last frame, and that's due to an accumulation of error, I believe. Um, 
that's the next thing I'm going to have to address. So I think that the solution for this is to create more precision, though I could be wrong. It could be something else that's causing this. I still think that there's an error in my code regarding how the uh, the particles are being reflected over the, the wall when they pass through it. Anyway, I'm going to stop jibber jabbering. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I can't. Yeah, let me out. It's not letting me out. There we go. I got it. <laughs>